Of taking L's with the millionaires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's right. Um, so we took an L today. We? <laughs> don't, you don't try to put me in what happened to you. I didn't feel nothing, but my I, last name took an L. I took an L today. Baby took an L for no reasons. <laughs> And it was really embarrassing. Guys, like, I'm about to share my embarrassing story with you guys. But in the comments below, let me know what was a embarrassing moment that happened to you recently. Um, because for me... Now, give us an all-time embarrassment because yours is an all-time. You think so? All-time. Maybe know the story about it be crazy. All right, what happened then? What okay. happened? You tell them. They'll judge for themselves. So. Okay, you guys let us know. After I tell the story, let us know on a scale of 1 to 10 how embarrassed you would feel if this happened to you. 21. Once upon a time, it started off as a fairly normal day. Thinking, you know, mm. it's, it's going to be a regular day. I'm going to have a good day. Um... In the morning, I like to plan out like what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm talking out loud to Joelle, like, okay, so what's the plan? What are we doing? Is this how we're gonna do it? And so on, mm -hmm. right? And so I think we got the plan like all figured out. That's not how things turned out. We were supposed to go to a workshop or seminar together. I changed my mind. Joelle changed his she mind. She didn't like that I changed my mind. Okay, yes, I didn't like that because we already said we were going to go together. Um, and all of a sudden, he was just like, yeah, I'm not going. And I was just like. I didn't feel like it. So, as you guys can probably tell, I was annoyed. I mean, who, who wouldn't be annoyed? Right, baby? Babe, don't I agree know. with her. Are you serious? I know. Why are you Thank trying to you, console her? Thank you. No, no. <laughs> so I was a bit no. annoyed and I was just like, Ugh. and he's no. like, are you mad? And I'm just like, no. Hey, all I know is when you ask somebody if they're bad, they sound mad when they're like, I'm not mad. <laughs> How are you going to tell me you're not mad and sound mad while saying it? I don't know. I, I, I just wanted to stay home. I didn't want to go anymore. And then I wanted to stay home and take care of baby. So he decides to stay home. And I'm not happy about that. Um, so I go outside and I start the car. And then I'm just like, he's really not coming. So I go back upstairs and I'm just like, so you're really not coming, huh? I'm just like, bet. Okay. So then I go. I'm just like, ugh. And I storm off, and I'm just like, mm, mm, mm. And then I get in the car, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm out of here. And then I drive to the place. I stop, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm about to go to a seminar. I need to get my mind ready to get some education in here. Um, and so I am just like, you know what? I got to put this behind me. I can't be annoyed. Like, I have to tell him why I'm annoyed so that this doesn't keep repeating itself. For those of you who know me, like, if my sister's watching this, she's going to be like, telling you're mad dramatic. Because I am sometimes. Because I was just like... Da, 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 da. Like, I sent a whole paragraph. I'm telling you, I was like, Dear Joelle Manoy Million, like, I cannot believe you would do such a thing to me. I'm your wife. Like, da, 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 da. I don't know. I was just like, I need to get this off the table to make sure he knows why I was annoyed. It didn't go to him. <laughs> I'm at home chilling. I'm glad I was the one who got hit with the text message first. So whoever got it, they would probably be like, why are you coming up with all exactly. that energy for it? Chill it! What's most embarrassing is that I was on my way to a seminar, 
and I ended up sending it to the person leading <laughs> the seminar. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like, I realized it immediately. Like, I sent the text message, and I was just like, oh my goodness. Like, I was just like, I cannot believe this. This stranger is going to think that I'm crazy. He's going to think that I'm going through all these things because I was extremely dramatic. Like, I was just like, oh my gosh. Like, what do I do? Like, I was just like, so now I'm supposed to go inside. Like, I didn't just text this random stranger. <laughs> I cannot believe I just did that like so embarrassing so then i take the text messages and i forward it to joelle's phone but at that point i'm just like you know what like this doesn't even mean anything anymore like I call my friend courtney and i'm just like whoa you call other people before you called me yes i called courtney and i was just like oh my goodness like that's crazy courtney, like i was just like this is ridiculous because another embarrassing moment happened to me earlier this week and i'm telling you like, my week has just been embarrassment after embarrassment after embarrassment. So I was just like, oh my goodness, Courtney, like, you remember the embarrassing moment I had on Monday? This is way worse because I have to go inside and face this person and sit down and listen to them talk. For how many hours? Four hours. Four hours. Wow. <laughs> and they're probably wondering which one. They're probably wondering who in the seat oh texted that. Because they don't, they've never seen you, right? They've seen me, but I don't think they know me enough to know that, like, to put the face to the name. But oh. I was just like, oh my gosh. Um, but anyways. Uh -huh. And then you called me. Yeah. All right. You <laughs> called me and she was just like, all right, babe. Like, we don't have to be mad at each other anymore because what happened was crazy. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, good. Like, I'm chilling. I'm forgiving. Like, you know, I'm, I'm happy. I'm like, all right, what happened? She's like, oh, I sent the message to the wrong person. That was meant for you. I'm like, what? H how does that happen? Guys, my name is pinned on the top. Isn't my name pinned on top? Yeah. So and, how you text And him? our picture is behind the, the text messages so that oh, I would baby. never do that. So I don't know how. Well, that used to happen to me too. I used to text the wrong person every time. But now I learned to just, hey, hey, it's not that funny. I learned to just pin the person, like all the people I text on a regular so I don't keep sending messages to the wrong people. It was so embarrassing. But then the worst part, guys. <laughs> so I called you all and I'm just like, babe, we don't have time to be mad. I just sent that text message I sent you to the guy that's leading the seminar. And he's just like, oh, snap. like, And I'm just like, yeah, all right, well, bye. <laughs> like, love you. See you later. And so then, you know, like, I love that about our relationship. I love that we're able to let things go. Um, like literally guys this was this morning like um and yeah i just really appreciate that we can let things go and know that like we're gonna be okay because what yeah but anyways at the end of the seminar um i stuck around to you know network with some people um and i would have stormed out as soon as it's done and something like that happened to me i would have left I didn't leave. I was not working. And then all of a sudden, the guy comes up to the table. He comes up to the table. And he's like, how you guys doing? And I was just like, yeah, this is great. Like, um, we're And we're talking about how we're going to be successful and all the things that we learned from the seminar. And he's just like, oh, great. What are your names? And then the guy introduces himself. And then I'm just like, um, I'm Pierlene. I'm so sorry for the message that I accidentally sent you earlier. And he's just like, wait, what? You sent me a message earlier, and I was Dang. just like, yeah, but like, he's like, what did it say? And I was just like, oh, no, you don't want to know what it said. And he's just like, wait, like, let me, like, let me check. Are you sure it was me? What number was it? But I didn't have my phone on me because um, I put it to charge. And I was just like, no, 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 no need to worry um, about my phone number or your phone, like, just know if you see a crazy message, it's not crazy. <laughs> and then he's just like, okay. Oh. But it was really embarrassing, guys. Never again. Oh, man. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed our story time on our amazing morning. <laughs>
<laughs> funny. But yeah. But we hope you enjoyed. Um, let us know in the comments below. How embarrassing was that? Like on a scale of one to ten, how embarrassing? Oh my god. Only if they knew, then they'd be able to truly judge it. What did we learn today, babe? So, moral of the story. When you're mad, like, you don't need to be sending out long paragraph texts, like... Just call. Just, yeah. If you call yeah. the wrong number, then you know you call the yeah, wrong number. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm just like, dang, why did I even do that? Like, yeah, that was pointless. <laughs> and, like, like, honestly, the fact that I was able to let it go within seconds because of how mortified <laughs> I was, like, I was just like, yeah, like, yeah. it really was not worth it. And always check... Before you send a text message, because, yep. like, oh, oh my gosh. All right, guys, well, thanks for tuning in. This is Making, Making It, it with, with the Millionaires. millionaires.